January 18th. Before he dies, Israel blesses his sons with prophecies that would manifest in the coming years. After his death, Israel's body is returned to Canaan for burial. After the funeral, Joseph's brothers plead for mercy. With Israel gone, Joseph is free to retaliate for his brother's wicked act, and Joseph's brothers fully understand he would be justified in doing so. But Joseph's response is unexpected. Chapter 50, verses 20 and 21. As for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good, to save many people alive, as is happening today. Now therefore, don't be afraid. I will provide for you and for your little ones. He comforted them and spoke kindly to them. Joseph's forgiveness is genuine, and it shows something much deeper, that he truly understood and embraced God's handling of the tumultuous events of his life. He had indeed come to terms with the justice that had been forced upon him, and he was at peace with the events of those prison years. Joseph's request that upon his death, that his bones be returned to Canaan, is his reclamation of his rightful place in the Jewish legacy that he knew would be passed down to his future generations. Although externally an Egyptian, he would always identify as one of the twelve princes of Israel, as the head of a tribe that would form this God-initiated nation that had been created to bless the entire world. Joseph left a legacy of faith, perseverance, forgiveness, and reconciliation. It is the story of a man who was used mightily for God's purposes because his life was yielded to God. Here's today's application. What will be your legacy? What will others say of you at the end of your days? Do you have a plan to finish well? What are the potential obstacles to your finishing well? Like Joseph, you can finish your career and your life well. But like most successful efforts, it will take some planning. Give that some thought today. Ask God to show you how you can finish well. Now here's today's prayer.